You have learned how to add data to the database or get data from the database using API endpoints. But there are a lot of times when you add bad data to the database. In that case, you need to have a functionality or an API endpoint to update that data. And that is possible by sending an HTTP PUT request to an ASP.NET Core Web API endpoint. So, let us now go to Visual Studio and create our API endpoint and the service method to update existing data in our database. In here, go to the Solution Explorer, then go to the Book Service, then scroll to the bottom of this page, because down here we are going to add the method that we'll use to update existing data in our database. So, let's say public book, because we want to return the updated book, then update book by ID will be the method name. It takes two parameters. The first parameter will be the book ID, and the second parameter will be the book view model, because we want to be able to update only the properties that we can. So we cannot change the book ID or the book date added. That's why we are passing as a parameter the book view model. And then in here, I'll just name it book. Next, let us check if this book exists in our database. So for that, var underscore book is equal to context dot books dot first or default. And that goes to and dot ID is equal to the book ID. Now, if we find the book, so if book is different from null, then we want to update this book. Now, let us just go to the add book method, then copy all these properties, except the date added. So control C, then scroll down, let us paste it in here. And then I'll just copy the underscore book, paste it in here, book dot. Then in here, add semi columns. Then in here, just type context dot save changes. And then just after the curly brackets, return the book. Now the book in here will have the updated values. Then save the changes and go to the books controller. So I'll go to the solution explorer, then books controller. Let us scroll down in here. After the HTTP post, we are going to add an HTTP put. So HTTP put. And down here, I'll just write public by action result update book by ID. This will take two parameters. The first parameter will be int id for the book id and the second parameter will come from the body of the request and will be book vm and i'll just name it book then down here i'll just type var updated book is equal to the service so the book service dot update book by id the first parameter will be the id and the second parameter will be the book. Then in here, just type return, OK, the updated book. For this to work, we need to pass the book ID from the request URL and the book view model from the request body. So on the HTTP put inside parentheses, I'll just write update dash book dash by dash ID, then slash inside curly brackets, I'll just type ID. In here, it's really important that the ID name that you pass in here is identical with the ID that will be in the HTTP URL. And this is all we need to do. Let us save the changes and run the application. And now in here, we can see that we have an additional HTTP endpoint, and that is the HTTP put. But before we update any books, let us just go to the second HTTP get, which get a book by ID. Here, I'll just go to try it out, then write for, then execute. If you scroll down in here, 
you'll see that the ID4 has the title new, so basically everything is new. Now, let us scroll down in here. Click the put, try it out, pass as a parameter the ID4, so we want to update the book with the ID4. Then the values that we want to have in here would be the update it, let's say new dash update it, the is true let's say is false, the date read and rate will not be passed from here, the genre will be just new, this will be updated, this will be updated. Then scroll down and click the execute button. If you scroll down in here, you'll see that we have the updated book as the response body. Let us scroll up to the HTTP get. And then in here, I'll just click execute one more time. So if you can see in here, we have the title new, the description new, the genre new. I click execute. So now we have updated, new updated, new updated, updated. So basically we have all the values that we passed on the HTTP request body.